And we are live back here at Show Court, Guatemala City. Gary Mazarov, Gustavo Farrell. We're about to embark on our third of 11 stream matches today. Congratulations, Paola Langoria and Helike Barrios. They won their respective matches earlier. So this is Carlos Keller on the left in red, yellow, and green. On the right, Edwin Galicia. Keller from Bolivia, Santa Cruz. Galicia from Guatemala, here in the capital. Ivan Valdez is our head official. He hails from Baja, California, south of Tijuana. Ensenada, Rosarita Beach. This is the best of five, each to 11 points. Win by two, rally scoring, folks. International Racquetball Federation play. Now is rally scoring. U.S. still not, unless it's a qualifier for an international event, the U.S. still uh, has not adopted the rally scoring. It will happen. We're just not sure when, Gustavo. Just to uh, comment and thank our main sponsor here, Gearbox, um, Ivan Valdez wearing the logoed shirt. We're using the ball, been fantastic. A uh, ball that allows for more play than what some of the faster balls uh, have, have allowed. When you're hitting, you can actually have a ceiling game, something that we haven't seen much of since uh, the 70s when we saw a lot of uh, uh, drop shots, a lot of uh, wrap around or pinch shots <laughs> that uh, became non-existent when the ball got so fast and the rocket, rackets got bigger and bigger. So uh, rackets could only be 22 inches in overall length. We know that, uh, but still they're very much more powerful than they were back in the 70s and early 80s when the sport was taken off in the United States. We're seeing a lot of uh, countries in Latin America playing racquetball. Estamos viendo a muchos países de Latinoamérica jugando. Acá están viendo dos países, uh, dos jugadores excelentes. Carlos Keller de Bolivia. La palabra en inglés de Carlos que me gusta usar es que es un scrappy player. ¿Qué quiere decir eso? Una, un jugador que te llega a todo y no sabes cómo hizo para llegar a la bola. Ahora se van a ver. Y Edwin Galicia, eh, lo vi jugar contra Daniel de la Rosa en un mundial, lo derrotó y este, está jugando muy bien, muy fuerte, Edwin. Va a ser un gran partido. Gary. Game number one, first to 11, win by two, Keller serving. Short. Y Keller le puede pegar fuerte este, o leve. Eh, tiene una variedad tremenda como le pega la pelota. And both, both players, similar personalities on the court, not real animated, yeah. nonchalant. They're, they're so talented. Sometimes that comes back to haunt them. So it's 1 0. Ball live. There's an example of Scrappy. Unbelievable also, get. Also, Keller got to that ball. Edwin was up front. He could have taken it out of the air. Carlos just trying to get back on his feet. Let's it go to the back. Ends up skipping the ball in. 2-0. And I've seen Keller over and over again do the same. He continues to dig, 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 and it just frustrates the other opponent until he unforces or that un or takes and forces that unforced error. Well said. So Edwin on the board. Speaking of animation, we want to welcome to the booth, uh, Senor Macrino. Back up top. So Keller was shooting and Edwin was just neutralizing the pace, putting him back up top. Dos-dos. Los dos jugadores muy tranquilos en la cancha, aunque me imagino que estarán algo nerviosos. 
Power serve, weak return, put away. Textbook. Estamos en el segundo día del torneo. Aquí en la ciudad de Guatemala, los Panamericanos. Que se juegan todos los años en esta fecha, Semana Santa, en diferentes países. Cambio, punto Keller. Tie ball game, 3-3, game one. Called short, second serve, two serves. One timeout per set, per player, one minute in length. Two minute break between games. Nobody home right side. Loose serve. Backhand cross court winner, Galicia. So Galicia coming in to serve and has earned a point. Short serve. Los dos le pueden pegar fuerte cuando quieren, pero no es su estilo de reventar la pelota como hacen muchos jugadores. Otro punto para Galicia. El año pasado esto se jugó en Santa Cruz de la Sierra, Bolivia. ¿Quién ganó el, el evento de los hombres? Punto. A serve. Uncontested. Point. Ganado por Conrado Moscoso de Bolivia el año pasado. Y del lado de las mujeres, Angélica Barrios, también de Bolivia. Unforced error. Point. Keller. And he earns a serve. Remember, rally scoring, folks. Thank you for tuning in. Pan American. PanAmSports.com, first time, International Racquetball Federation Facebook and YouTube. Nick Lobb. So that ball cleared the glass. That line is 12 feet. When the ball clears the 12 foot line, it's automatically out of play. If it goes directly out, whoever hit the ball loses that rally. Bien agarrado. Oh, nice. Lindo tiro. Snap, forehand, reverse pinch winner. I look like you out there. I saw you play today. Impressive, huh? Impressive. 6-5. Ball live, Keller up front. Oh, just out of the reach. Edwin is playing the pinch, but just out of his reach. Pero adivinó bien, eh? Yo creo que, que sí adivinó bien, pero no llegó. Igual es seis, acá en el primer set. Different twist on that drive serve. Deep court angle called a Jam serve. Got the weak return and put it away. Comes right side, ace. Falls down. Good call. Keller forges ahead, ocho seis. Called short by Valdez, our head official. One of 15 professional referees here, representing eight different countries. Textbook pass, right side, along that concrete wall. Along that note, no referee can arbitrate or referee any of their hometown or home country, I should say. Skip ball. Unforced error by Keller, so back in the game. We're empate, ocho iguales. Sacando Galicia de la capital aquí. Replay, dead ball hinder, first serve. 
So once the rally starts, any previous fault serve is nullified. It reverts back to the first serve. Right side, set up, put away. Gustavo, change of momentum back and forth, ida y vuelta, huh? Ida y vuelta, sí. Va y viene. Creo que va a ser así todo el partido. Nueve ocho. Oh, that's impressive. All live. All live. Lindo rally ahí. Muy bueno. So back to an empate tie at nine. Sí, la verdad, eh, eh, comentando acá con, con nuestro, nuestro grupo de producción, Adrián Macrino, que la técnica de los dos jugadores es muy similar. No se apuran, son muy tranquilos, eh, llegan a la bola. Cuando tienen que pegarle fuerte, le pegan fuerte, si no, toques. Siempre pensando de su siguiente tiro. Tiempo fuera de Guatemala, un minuto. Este, cada jugador tiene un minuto por set y como aprendimos del señor Travers es importante saber cuándo usar los tiempos a veces a veces sí. porque no los podés un, un usar tiempo mañana cada, un, un, tie un tiempo cada 10 años <risa> <risa> nuestro amigo Tomás Traversky now resides in Guatemala City is a dueño of uh, two salons. Congratulations, Thomas. Esperando verlo a Tomás. Lo queremos mucho como amigo. Fue un gran jugador en los Estados Unidos. Y ahora él, él fue el entrenador acá en Guatemala por muchos años. Uh, Los apoyó muchísimo. Años. Aprendieron sí. mucho. 9-9, nine, nine, game number one. Talking about these two perception of Macrino over here. My, they're kind of like clones. Same personalities on the court. Edwin, right side. Ball up. Ball down. Keller. Keller now in his early 30s, when I first saw him play, he was 12. And I said, this, this, this gentleman has the skill set to be a world champ. He's been on the world stage for a long, long time. I had the opportunity to watch Carlos almost beat Rocky Carson in Korea. Korea. 2011, was it? I believe so. It was World Championships 2011. You recall, Gary? And we're all tied up here. Yes. Yeah, yes. Vamos a 12. Plugging ourselves, uh, we were world champs in that event That's right. as doubles That's players. Right. Pero fue en 2011, ¿no? Yeah. 2011. Ball left up. Oh, nice. Qué lindo. Qué lindo. Qué lindo. Great hands. So, folks, win by two. It was tied at 10. Ventaja un punto en favor de Keller. So now we go to 12. And there it is. 12-10 in favor of Keller. Game one. There'll be a two minute break in the action. Gracias, Gary. Vamos a un comercial. Colorado Springs Labor Day liftoff in Memorial Park September 3rd through the 5th. It's the most colorful weekend of the year. Don't miss the mass balloon ascensions, balloon glows, beer garden, live entertainment, kid zone, and a new 5K race. For event details, volunteer opportunities, and pre-event parking sales, visit LaborDayLiftoff.com.
In vivo, we're back here in Guatemala City. Gary Mazarov, Gustavo Farrell, Ariane Macrino, and Pablo Farge. This is the 34th edition of the Pan Am Racquetball Championships in Guatemala City, the capital. A city of about one million people. Largest, uh, most uh, inhabitants in Central America. Central America, stretching from Belize all the way down to Panama, seven countries. More people live here, about 17 million than any of the other countries. Uh, it's bordered by three other countries. Two bodies of water. And here we are, 10 courts at the Complejo, which is about two years old. Many, many international events have been played here in Guatemala and many to come, Gustavo. And speaking of to come, this is the third of 11 matches to be streamed today. Next up on the calendar will be Garcia and Gatica. Gatica from Chile. Garcia from Costa Rica. Gabriel Garcia. Correcto. And uh, Rafael or uh, his brother. Yeah, Rafael Gatica from Chile. Their father is the Presidente of the Chilean Racquetball Federation. Top racquetball player himself and a top squash 57 player. Here we go. Segundo set. Sacando Galicia. Empezó con un saque más fuerte. No sé si va a tratar de forzar un poco más la bola. Ball live. Ball live. <laughs> Lindo tanto. Muy bien. Ambos jugadores. Bien jugado. Punto para Galicia. Iniciando el segundo set. 1-0. Gran primer punto. Los dos medios desubicados a donde estaba la pelota, pero llegaron a todas. Loose serve. Ball came off the back for a setup. Carlos in his nonchalant way just snapped a backhand cross court pass winner. 1 1. His older brother, Rolando Coco, is one of our professional referees here. Side out and point. Ivan Valdez from Baja, California in Mexico is our head official, calls the score 2-1. See how, you can see how animated uh, Edwin got up on that one. He taps his. <laughs> Igual es dos. El saque de Carlos nunca es muy fuerte, pero casi siempre muy efectivo, pasando la línea corta. That's called a Nick Lob. The ball brushes off the sidewall deep. Prevents the receiver from taking the ball out of the air. Point scored for Keller and the serve. Pinch, right side. Lado derecho, 3-2. Called short. Pudiera haber sido bueno. From our vantage point, it looked good, but no appeal. Impres impressive noto, down that vidrio left side. Noto que Galicia está sirviendo más fuerte en su primer servicio. A ver, fíjate, Gary. Empate tres iguales. Again, a little sloppy with that drive serve, Gustavo. Sí. You want that second bounce to 
land at the Vidrio, and that ball is rebounding off that back, giving the opponent, Keller, an opportunity. High inside-out swing right side, comes up short. Once again, the Nick. Well, Carlos got what he wanted, but put it into the floor. So either the Vuelta were back, tie at four. Rally scoring international racquetball play. 11 points, best of five, win by two. Error no forzado. Solo cometió el error. Punto para so, Keller. It's a case where Galicia did everything he wanted but score the point. The short serve. Percentage of success on the drive serve has not been good for Keller. Muy bajo. Yet he enjoys a one point lead, 5 4, after having the, won the first game at overtime, 12 10. If he starts getting that serve in, uh, look out, Edwin. No, para nada. No ha podido. Sí. Sí, la efectividad de, de Carlos, el primer saque, el primer servicio, no ha sido buena. Fue Pero bien. dentro del rally no ha tenido problema. 7-4, tiempo fuera de Galicia, Guatemala. Estamos en el segundo set acá en los Panamericanos, la ciudad de Guatemala. Nos quedamos a hablar un poquito de la, de la ciudad y lo que sigue. Estamos en el día número 2, ¿no, Gary? Del día evento. Dos, sí, de, de, de ocho. Eh, la parte de round se robin. Termina, sí, parte de round robin hasta día martes que, que viene. Sí. Y hasta finales con juniors. Hay 50 juniors en este evento, cinco, cinco países. Y uh, el viernes se termina juniors y adultos se termina en, uh, el sábado en, eh, para seguir con uh, premiación. Es la primera vez que tenemos los juniors en los Panamericanos, yo creo. ¿Tú estás pensando que no? ¿Cuándo fue? Ta tal vez eh, formalmente. Antes de... Uh, más que uh, Friendship Cup. Eran otros eventos, sí. claro. Claro, era lo que se llama... En Santa Cruz el año pasado hubo también. Ok. We're back live in vivo. 7-4 Keller. Game 2. He won the first 12-10. Pressure on Edwin. Wants to not get behind two games to zero. Y sigue sin meter el primer saque. Nick Lobb. He took it early. Left it up. Carlos, backhand, cross court winner. 8 4, game number two. It's tough to read, Gustavo. He comes right, comes left. He keeps that opponent stationary for another split second. Consequently, they're not on top of that return to serve. Animation from Carlos throws his hand in the air. <laughs> no se ve mucha animación o, o entusiasmo de ninguno de los dos jugadores. Para mí fue la primera vez que vemos a Carlos reaccionar <laughs> molesto con sí mismo. Qué bien, que lo motive, ¿no? Another, otra falta from Galicia. So he comes with a nick, but he did nick. A little bit sloppy there. Well, Carlos thinks that that ball was down, no call. Therefore, everything legal. Carlos can appeal to his opponent. Not that Edwin's going to reverse it, but uh, he can appeal according to the rules of the game. Well, he did look to his coach, and his coach concurred that it was a good call by the referee. Coming back, 7-8. Yeah. His coach uh, looks like uh, Carrasco. <laughs> no formal coach from Bolivia here. 
And First serve percentage very low for both players. Very, very low. Formal coach for Guatemala is uh, Juan Sabatiera. Nice get. Winner left side, backhand pinch. Empatados, ocho, ocho. Uh, referee timeout to make sure safe environment on the court. That's number one issue, folks. Before you start playing on the court, check the conditions of the court, including the hardware on the on the door, make sure you have eyewear. Good pair of shoes, a racket with a safety thong on it. And you're ready to play. Here we go. Ocho, ocho. Another short serve. I would say the porcentaje may be 15, 85. Not very good. Muy bajo el porcentaje de primer servicio. Bueno. So the momentum has changed in favor of Edwin. Ventaja un punto en su favor. Nueve sirve a ocho. Galicia de Guatemala. Screen. We call a pantalla screen. It's a visual hinder, folks. And when we break, we'll have Gustavo cover the elements of a screen. Bottom line is it's a fault serve, second serve. Ball down. So when Edwin serves this next point, it'll be game point number one. 10-8. Carlos needs to score two rallies in his favor in order to force tie break, uh, excuse me, at overtime. Right now it's 11 points. If it gets 10-10, it would be going to 12. Second serve. So one point away from forcing it overtime. It's 9-10. Como que salió mal de la pared del vidrio. No se dio cuenta, Galicia. No pudo hacer nada con la bola. Short serve. Más y más. Let's go back to that Dos Nick cortas. Lob left side. See what Edwin does with this. Not much you can do except go up top. There it is, reverse. So we go over time. It's 10-10. Much to the chagrin of Edwin. So smooth. Keller. First to 12, folks. Muy fluido con su tiro ahí. The crowd maintains engagement in these matches, Gustavo. Corta de nuevo. Segundo servicio. A little different twist on that one. Pushes a half, half lob. Oh my, from his knees, forehand, snap, roll out. So now it's game point number one and set number two for Keller. Once diez. See ya. That ball cleared out of bounds directly with no bounce. It's a point for the opponent. Now it's the first to 13, Gustavo. Igual es 11. Jugamos, vamos a 13. Hay que ganar por dos puntos. Now that was a great serve. Keller showing his athleticism. Another game point for Keller. Tiempo 
Keller, cada jugador ha tomado su tiempo. So uh, we were talking about screen, pantalla, Gustavo, and this can occur during a serve as well as during the rally. What are the three uh, elements required uh, to result in a screen call, which is a false serve? Uh, that's a, a very good question. I'll say it both in English and Spanish, Gary, and a lot of people think it's you know, how close the, the ball passes to the body of the player, a racket's distance. That is not the case. The case is first is the receiving player has to be in position. In other words, they can't be leaning in a certain direction and the ball pass by the serving player on the other side. Okay. And the second one, the ball has to go close. What is close? Well, that's defined by the referee on what he considers to be close. And the last one is the view has to be obstructed by the receiving player. Este, de vuelta en español, eh, tiene que estar en posición el recibidor, la pelota tiene que pasar cerca por definición del árbitro y la tercera, el, el jugador recibiendo tiene que estar uh, la vista eh, tapada para no, para no haber podido ver el tiro, el saque. So the call on the floor is buena bola, game point, Keller, he now leads two games. 13, 11, to zero. se la sacó, volvió. Vamos a pasar a un comercial ahora, por favor, Adrián. in Memorial Park September 3rd through the 5th. It's the most colorful weekend of the year. Don't miss the mass balloon ascensions, balloon glows, beer garden, live entertainment, kid zone, and a new 5K race. For event details, volunteer opportunities, and pre-event parking sales, visit LaborDayLiftoff.com. And we're back, folks. Gary Mazaroff, Gustavo Farrell. Court Central here in Guatemala City at the Complejo Nacional de Racquetball. Watching the third feed of 11 today. We'll be going till about 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time in the U.S. It's the time zone of Denver, Albuquerque, and El Paso going south in the Rocky Mountain region. This is Carlos Keller versus Edwin Galicia. Keller leads two games to zero. This is the 34th edition of the Pan Am Racquetball Championships here in the capital city. In Gustavo, we have two overtime games, 12-10 and 13-11, keeps the crowd engaged. Matches are overall quicker and keeps the crowd Again, en engaged, less downtime. Keller serving now, and we did see him get that serve in. Keeps the momentum been commenting going, on yeah. That, that first the service percentage has been very low. Well, it's very high now. It's at 100% for this game. And there it is again, still at 100%. Your uh, math is sharing, good, huh? sharing your internet uh, engineering skills and yes. mathematics skills. Thank you, sir. Let's see if Edwin uh, starts out at 100 percent or at zero on his first serve. So Edwin side out. He gets a point as well with rally scoring. Yeah, 100 percent. Skip ball. He ties it up. Actually, he goes ahead. He scored a point coming in. Yeah, two one. So for our viewing audience, for those that just viewed in, it's rally scoring, best of five. Keller leads two games to zero. Good start here in game three for Edwin. He needs to win this, get to 11 first, assuming he wins by two, to force a game four. This is a round robin match. Round two. Which round robins will be played till Tuesday, and then we'll have the elimination portion. Nice. 
Carlos Keller, Santa Cruz, de, uh, de la Sierra in Bolivia. Ace, uncontested serve. Dos, tres, sirviendo Keller. Handcuffed his opponent there. Iguales tres. ¿Cómo se dice, Gary? Handcuffed. Handcuffed. Buen. Ese fue buen saque, pero pantalla. Así que buen saque en el Where sentido que cruzó la línea. La palabra en español de handcuff es esposas. No. Esposado. Esposado. Es lo que sucedió, pero... Esposado. Ayer estábamos hablando de eso. But in order to be uh, equitable, we'll say esposado y esposada. <laughs> hey, Nerica, huh? <laughs> we, we, we just got a, a smile from our producer, el señor Farhare. <laughs> Perfecto. Gracias, Señor Sanchez. Keller serving. This is game number three. He won the first 12-10. He won the second 13-11. He leads 9-4. Ball live. Oh, that's impressive, Gustavo. Beautiful. Nice rally, both players. So now we have match point number one. No, no, we don't. I stand corrected. It's six four. <laughs> the scoreboard. The scoreboard showed nine. C'est la vie. Six four. See ya. Once again, that ball clears that red line, which is out of court here. Literally out of court. If the back glass were 20 feet high, it would be out of bounds. Whoever hit the ball loses that rally, and this, in this case, it's a side out and a point for Galicia. Bien hecho. 5-7, 7-5 entrando a servir oh, okay. Keller. Marcando la cancha donde está mojada. Por seguridad de los jugadores, vamos a limpiar con toalla. Eh, se ve que está sudando bastante ahora Galicia. El árbitro puede pedirle que cambie su, su camiseta si necesario. Yo creo que si van a un cuarto set le va a pedir que haga eso para que no haya demora de juego. Bueno, seguimos. 7-5, Keller sirviendo. A ver si llega a poder meter este servicio fuerte. Great serve. Excelente. El vidrio difícilmente uh, siempre juega en contra el vidrio del, del jugador que le va a pegar ahí. Yeah. Time out. So, no, no less than Edwin would have a difficult time just keeping that ball in play. That's what Keller was trying to do. If he hits an ace serve, you'll take it, but really he's trying to get a weak return. So here we are, 34th edition. El Pan American Racquetball Championships 1987 in Caracas, Venezuela was the first edition. This is the 37th year, but we missed two years of COVID and one year uh, based on the situation in Bolivia. So it's the 40, 34th event in 37 years. International Racquetball Federation began in 1981. Their first event was a combination of the World Championships and the World Games. Santa Clara, California. And we've been around since. Yes, we have. We want to thank uh, Luke St. Ange, who I'm sure is listening in. 
Luke, uh, thank you for all you've done for our sport. And here we go. We're back. Ocho Cinco Keller. We'll call a short serve. Yo, yo lo vi más como un, un posible hinder, pero lo, lo cantó corto el, el árbitro so, Valdez. Fault serve, second serve. Comes back with the nick, Gustavo. Great serve. That's impressive. Folks, what you're trying to do with that defensive serve, if you will, is to get a weak return and then be in a position for an offensive follow-up, which he did. Nobody home. Point scored for Galicia and here in the serve. 6-9. Once again, Galicia needs to win this game to force a game four. He's down 0-2. Now or never, ahora o nunca. Para Galicia, corto. Partido que sigue va a ser Gabriel García, Costa Rica. Rafael Gatica, Chile. En esta primera parte del torneo, el round robin de los Panamericanos. Está pidiendo que vengan a limpiar la cancha. Otro punto para Galicia. Sí. Dos puntos enseguida, entonces 7-9. First to get to 11, win by two. Gustavo uh, spoke about yesterday. We had one match, women's singles. Ronda Rasich and Mary Delgado in 18-16. Mixed doubles, USA, Ecuador, 17-15. Nick Lobb, Galicia, up top. Oh my. No le hubiera pegado tan fuerte ahí. Había llegado a todas las bolas atrás, pero le pegó tan fuerte que pegó el techo y no llegó a la pared del frente. 44 foot attempt with the backhand into the back wall. Came up short, so it's 8-9. 9-9. Cuatro puntos enseguida, Galicia. Will he force a tie break? Excuse me, a fourth game. Will he force a fourth game? That's the question. That was a good timeout call. 9-9. El Señor Fajare says yes. And here we have it. Game point number one for Galicia. It was 5-9. Now it's 10-9. Exciting racquetball, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Panamsports.com. Oh, great shot. So we go tie <laughs> overtime in three straight sets. First to 12. Short. Subdued crowd, Gustavo. Big Guatemalan contingency out there, but very quiet. Ball down. Now the crowd is clapping for the hometown favorite here, Galicia. Second game point here in the third set for Galicia. A ver si vamos a cuatro. There it is. When we return, it'll be Keller two games, Galicia one, here in the capital of Guatemala City. ¿Qué le parece si vamos a un comercial? Adelante. Stay tuned. the 46th annual Colorado Springs Labor Day Liftoff in Memorial Park, September 3rd through the 5th. 
It's the most colorful weekend of the year. Don't miss the mass balloon ascensions, balloon glows, beer garden, live entertainment, kid zone, and a new 5K race. For event details, volunteer opportunities, and pre-event parking sales, visit LaborDayLiftoff.com. We're live here in Guatemala City. Gary Mazaroff, Gustavo Farrell, Court Central here, Complejo Nacional de Racquetball, Pan American Racquetball Championships, 34th edition. We'll be here through next Saturday. Carlos Keller, Bolivia. Edwin Galicia, Guatemala. Keller leads two sets to one. All three sets have gone overtime. Two in favor of Keller, one in favor of Galicia. Gustavo, take it away. I was thinking this was going to be over in three. Being down 9-6, Galicia came back. Surprising. Uh, so I have to say Carlos is going to have to refocus here on getting back into the game. The inertia is going Galicia's way right now, as you saw there. I like that choice of words. 1-0, 1-0. Galicia seguro que va a servir fuerte. A ver la efectividad de, no? Nick Lobb, como dice Gary. Uno, uno. Four. Forehand pass right side down that concrete wall. Out of the reach of Edwin. Once again, folks, rally scoring. Keller earns a serve, and he scores a point. Short serve called, second serve. Ivan Valdez, professional referee. One of 15 professional refs here. So that's what's called a dead ball hinder. Had Carlos not Received that ball on that uh, shoulder, it would have returned to the front wall. So it's a dead ball hinder, first serve. Wide nice angle pass. Crack. But it did crack. 2 1. A ver si sirve fuerte. Creo que va a seguir con el globo. Keller. Galicia. Oh, wraparound, great get. There's the Otra wide vez. angle, my friend. Otra vez. The momentum has changed in favor of Galicia here. As we said earlier, Ida y Vuelta. All three sets, two point deficit. Back to the Nick. No forzado, right? Unfor error, unforced error. No forzado. Cometió el error solo. Lo mismo. Hay muchas palabras que difícilmente cuando las traducí de inglés a español es más rápido decirlo en inglés y se entienden en inglés para la comunidad de racket Carlos saves that put away Edwin so Edwin will now serve he enjoys a one point lead 4-3 game number 4 Thank you to Osvaldo Maggi and his staff, the International Racquetball Federation, doing one heck of a job, as they always do. Local organizing committee headed by Dr. Estuardo Ware. Otherwise, Hospitality second to none. 
at the hotel, the Clarion, here at the club. Breakfast, excellent. I haven't had a meal there yet, but I understand that's very good as well. Nice touch, nice hands by Keller. Drop shot, right corner, Keller. We were talking about the gearbox ball, how it allows for more play. There's a perfect example of the effectivity of a drop shot. That's called a jam serve. Caught Edwin off guard. Bottom line, folks, point Keller, so he forges ahead. Momentum's shifted again. 6-4 Keller trying to close this match out. Tuesday will, actually Wednesday, I believe, will start the Sembrada, the uh, elimination round. But win or lose, everybody's going to play multiple matches to determine the top 24 spots for the Pan Am games. To be held late October in Santiago de Chile. Cinco, seis, sirviendo Galicia. That's a loose, loose lob serve from Edwin. Sloppy. He allowed Keller to take the ball out of the air, uh, unobstructed by that left side wall, and he put it away. There's the drive jam again. See ya. Uh, ball's in. So that ball landed just below that red line. Gustavo, if the ball hit the red line, what's the call? The call would be still in play. No call. Ball has to clear it. Has to go be above 12 feet. That's the angle he wants, but came up short. Now, folks, if the ball bounces and then clears that line, it's a replay. If it were a second serve, it would revert back to first serve. A lot There's of the, the uh, hometown players don't know that rule. We'll send Mr. Travers in to do a class in refereeing. Keller enjoying a two-point lead here, 8-6. Oh, he read that. No good. Y de vuelta. Keller read that pinch, was right on top of it. He's asking if he has a timeout. The answer is yes. So when we resume play, it'll be a three point spread in favor of Keller. Acordate que el último set igual. Tomó el tiempo, 9-6, y regresó y, y se la sacó a Keller. Sí. Así que a ver si sucede lo mismo. Mm -hmm. Estamos en el cuarto set. Keller, obviamente. Vamos a ver el, 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 resulto, el resultado de, de tiempo. Si nada va a cambiar, entonces se, se dice en, en inglés, it's an empty timeout. If he's successful, we call it Yo a... Yo traduciría uh, eso uh, a un tiempo vacío. Vacío. Tiempo fuera vacío. Sí, o... If he's successful, empty timeout eh, versus tiempo fuera. entero. No, lleno. O con éxito. Un tiempo fuera exitoso. A ver, a ver qué exitoso. pasó. Exitoso. Mira, mira. Entonces, success, éxito. Exitoso. Entonces, 7-9. Galicia sacando. Thank you for that language lesson, folks. Again, another loose serve by Edwin. Loose. Nuestro amigo Tim or Fire. Tim Baghurst introduced that term into the uh, racquetball vocabulary. Edwin says, I'm not done yet. 8-10, game number four. Official timeout here, it's not a player timeout. So you can see that Edwin's shirt is soiled. 
Yvonne can uh, mandate that he change his shirt for s safe and fair play. Same thing with Keller, as a matter of fact. Yo traduciría Lush, como dice Gary, flojo. Flojo. Un tiro flojo. Keller set up. Keller. Se acabó. Victorious. Ganó. Tres sets. A uno. Carlos Keller, three games to one over Edwin Galicia. Felicitaciones from the referee. And Gustavo will interview. Carlos. Felicitaciones, Carlos, por haber ganado este, bueno, round robin, segundo día de juego. ¿Ayer jugaste también, singles? No, ayer no jugué. Okay. Eso. Así que hoy empezaste. De, decime, el, el, ¿sientes que la, sientes que la, la, tu juego hoy fue al, algo desesperado, nervioso? Eh, bueno, siempre, la verdad que siempre jugar contra Edwin es muy complicado. Este, tiene un juego no muy distinto a, a los demás jugadores y bueno, este, siempre. Siempre tengo que entrar ¿no? desde el inicio del partido 100% concentrado. Pero este, bueno, gracias a Dios este, las cosas salieron ¿no? como se esperaba y pude llevarme el partido. Estamos viendo que el, el cuarto set, exactamente como pasó en el tercer set, lo llevabas 9 a 6, tomó tiempo, regresó a la cancha y en el tercer set te ganó, te la sacó. ¿Estabas pensando en eso? Eh, bueno, sí, como le decía, ¿no? este, la, la verdad que... Nunca hay que confiarse hasta que finalice el partido ¿no? contra Edwin, porque como ha visto ¿no? en la tercera cancha iba llevando 9-6. Este, después del minuto volvió muy concentrado, me lo remontó, me la remontó la cancha, terminó ganándola. Este, pero bueno, este, me sirvió no es mucho igual ¿no? para poder entrar este, 100% concentrado en el cuarto set y bueno, así poder obtener la victoria. Excelente, muchas gracias Carlos. De vuelta nosotros vamos a regresar ahora con el partido de Rafael Gatica Chile contra Gabriel García Costa Rica. Quédense con nosotros, regresamos en unos minutos. in Memorial Park, September 3rd through the 5th. It's the most colorful weekend of the year. Don't miss the mass balloon ascensions, balloon glows, beer garden, live entertainment, kids zone, and a new 5K race. For event details, volunteer opportunities, and pre-event parking sales, visit laborday.liftoff.com. <laughs> 